All right, hey VC, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video and back with some CDs and vinyl on this one, kind of a mixed bag. I'll show you a few uh, CDs that I've recently purchased and a few uh, used vinyl records that I've also purchased as well. First off, we do have a, a box set. I've been uh, kind of making my way through this one. Uh, this is a six CD box set that has been reissued. Uh, this one first came out in uh, 2014 and it's been reissued this year. Uh, generally the same configuration in the reissue, but this one just a little bit smaller uh, inside. Size. Not greatly smaller, uh, but this is Space Rock, an interstellar traveler's guide, as you can see with a very inspired uh, Hawkwind uh, cover. So this is six incredible CDs, and this is on uh, Purple Pyramid Records. And uh, I've just put the hype sticker uh, that was on the uh, cover, I've just put it on the inside, and it features a Hawkwind, Gong, Tangerine Dream, to name just a few. There's uh, William Shatner with Steve Hillage and Rocket Man, an alternate mix. Uh, Alice Cooper is even featured on here with the uh, track BB on Mars Live from 1969. So quite yeah, even a mixed bag on something like this. I've been listening to the uh, first disc and it is, <laughs> it's pretty trippy. Uh, I've been really enjoying it so far. So uh, I'll get you a better indication. It's kind of hard. It's very small print uh, on the back there. Uh, so this is a, just a simple clamshell style. I put the hype sticker on the inside here. It's got a very nice booklet. Again, tiny printing, but it gives you a real spotlight on all of the artists featured on here, uh, but some great artwork on the uh, sleeves here. And it reminds me of, of some of the, the way the Rhino uh, box sets used to be, but just with fun artwork and things like that. So each one's got its own sleeve. And so we have disc one here. And so that lets you know quite a wide variety of artists. So this is, again, this box set has been reissued which is nice to see. And it's fairly reasonably priced to this box set too. Okay, so we continue on with disc two. And it'd be really nice to see uh, something like this in you know, big vinyl artwork. Now, it looks like they really fill up the CDs, uh, each one too, which is quite nice. So I know the first disc was at least uh, 75 minutes long, so. And we got that. And then carrying on disc three. But I'm looking forward to uh, <laughs> hearing William Shatner and Steve Hillage with Rocket Man. Wow. And William Shatner, who's officially uh, traveled in space as well now. There you go, there's that. Then we got disc five. Yeah, I really like the artwork. And I like these these fun kind of themed box sets. As I say, Rhino used to release a lot of these kind of themed box sets, but they don't seem to do that as much anymore. It seems to be a lot more of the uh, the British labels uh, kind of doing this, having fun with that. Okay, and uh, quickly going through the booklets. They were, as I say, I think the the um, original release it was just a slightly bigger configuration. So again, the, the 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 text is a little on the smallish side, as you can see. So it gives you an overview at the beginning, and then uh, very much like a lot of the sort of the British releases like this, it gives you a spotlight on all of the bands. Uh, more often than not, pictures of the bands as well, but on a fairly small scale. But again, continuing with the very cool artwork, kind of the vintage space or sci-fi look. But really enjoying it so far. The first disc is really nice, really, really space rock, really trippy. Really enjoying that one. Okay, I haven't seen this one presented yet in the VC. I'm a little surprised uh, because, gosh, this was an absolutely terrific documentary. Now, probably there's lots of people waiting for the vinyl release on this. And at least in Canada, the vinyl release is not going to come out until June. But the CD is now available. This is the uh, soundtrack uh, to the documentary, now the uh, Academy Award winning documentary, Summer of soul and if you haven't seen this uh, by all means do uh, check it out so this uh, uh, captures the music that was featured at the harlem cultural festival from june july and august of 1969 absolutely outstanding so on a single cd it really only captures 
just a little bit of the film and of course just a little bit of all the great uh, performances uh, but there you have it I don't know if you can see a bit of the glare there going on but the hype sticker says a breathtaking chronicle of black culture and a pivotal moment uh, NPR wrote that and it features the fifth dimension BB King Nina Simone slime the family stone and so much more uh, so glad they featured the chamber brothers performance on here sadly they don't have any of the Stevie Wonder performances on here and I think the vinyl is going to be a two uh, record set uh, with a bonus track I think on the vinyl that doesn't appear on the CD which is interesting uh, it used to be the other way around in terms of releases the bonus tracks used to appear on the CD now it seems to be the other way around but well that's okay so the vinyl uh not out yet um i don't know if that's a kind of part of the sort of supply chain issues where the cds are able to come out and then the vinyl we have to wait on but we look forward to that but really uh outstanding outstanding movie and a great to soundtrack a soundtrack that easily could have been released as a box set uh, for sure and a canadian artist who is touring once again uh, you're likely familiar with uh, bruce coburn uh, this is another sort of best of package simply called Greatest Hits 1970 to 2020 and a very whimsical uh, cover there and he's, he's sporting kind of a different look now uh, he is back on on tour just doing a complete solo uh, tour just alone on stage with a whole bunch of guitars and of course he's just an amazing guitarist uh, he really broke internationally uh, you could say with the song wondering where the lions are he has definitely that sort of folk rock or folk kind of sound but wondering where the lions are incorporating some reggae stylings uh, also you may know him from Rumors of Glory, Coldest Night of the Year, Lovers in a Dangerous Time, and Bare Naked Ladies uh, covered that song. If I Had a Rocket Launcher was also a fairly uh, well-known hit. But this goes right back to the early, early folky days with Going to the Country. It's a generally a nice overview. There's, of course, a few greatest hits available, including single CDs and a box set uh, a few years back. But uh, this is a nice overview. As I say, it takes you right up to uh, 2020, which is his last uh, release, as I recall. But uh, there you go. He's also a man of many, <laughs> many hairstyles over the years. And uh, yeah, so they have the booklet uh, in here. If I can uh, just get my fingers in there. I'll just put the booklet over here just quickly, and then we'll take a look at the discs like that. And like that, I've seen Bruce Coburn perform a couple of times, uh, both uh, great shows and uh, both uh, in terms of just a solo. Oh, well, I actually, maybe I've seen him three times, I think. Uh, the one was a completely sort of solo acoustic type show, and I've seen him twice uh, with a band. Uh, that's right. Uh, over the years. And this, of course, spotlights a lot of his uh, albums from the, from the 70s through there. And, uh, of course, uh, playing the acoustic guitar there. And as I said, he has sported many <laughs> looks over the years. And that's kind of the way he's looking now. <laughs> he's almost got, got that kind of uh, older man hipster look sort of thing going on now. But he is really an outstanding guitarist. And a terrific songwriter, too. And then more of his albums from the uh, through the uh, late 70s through the 80s and uh, continuing to through till today. Okay, there you have it. Bruce Coburn, Greatest Hits, Cheers, <laughs> 1970 to 2020. There you have it. Okay, just a few uh, used vinyl records uh, that I have. I picked this one up. was not familiar with this Todd Rundgren album. Now, Todd Rundgren has a lot of albums out, but this is the album Nearly Human, and this was on Warner from, I want to say, like, maybe 19... It's hard to see on the copyright, but I want to say maybe... Uh, 19 mid 80s so I'll take a look inside but wow what an outstanding album and the first track on here is a song called the want of a nail and you got Bobby Womack guest vocalist on this one this is right like what a great opening track and just great R&B sound it is a stellar stellar track I've absolutely enjoyed it and uh, another great Todd Rundgren album this on Warner and uh, I want to say, I can't really see the copyright date, but it's basically 80s, I think, on this, like maybe mid-80s, but Todd Rundgren and Nearly Human. 
there you go. But this is uh, really a great al album. Of course, Todd Rundgren's got so many great albums. Late, late 80s, maybe 88, 89 on this one. Okay, and another sort of soulful entry. How about to Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes uh, called Collector's, uh, Collector's Item, uh, All Their Greatest Hits. And you kind of forget how great Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes were uh, with Teddy Pendergrass, Great Soul, The Love I Lost, If You Don't Know, Be My Now. Just absolutely terrific. So very happy to have picked this one up, the uh, Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. Okay, let's uh, switch gears. How about some, some rock classics? How about Aerosmith and Permanent Vacation? This one produced by Bruce Fairburn, and uh, this was on Geffen. This was, I believe, their second release on Geffen, where they really made a concerted effort to have a hit with this, and that they did, because this is a pretty solid album. You know, it's, it's Aerosmith into the 80s, but Ragdoll, uh, you've also got Angel on this one. Dude Looks Like a Lady, pretty solid album in terms of their effort, and it certainly paid off for them. So this one uh, does feature, so this is not this is not a repress, this, or a reissue, this uh, features the original uh, Inner Sleeve, and of course it features the classic lineup of the band, uh, back together with uh, Joe Perry, and on Geffen Records. And another rock classic, how about to Def Leppard and the album Hysteria? Of course, so what can you say about this one? You know, just a huge, huge hit. Uh, you've got so many great songs on here. Rocket, Animal, Love Bites, Pour Some Sugar On Me, Armageddon It, you know, <laughs> from start to finish. You know, Def Leppard just, you know, in terms of their popularity, going through the stratosphere on this one. So really happy to come across this one and also with the original sleeve again this is not not a reissue and i do like the custom label on here with that and then with that okay so that's going to do it to, for this one uh, thanks so much for dropping by again hopefully everybody's doing well out there and we'll chat again soon take care bye bye